Hello my dear friends, welcome to Aspire 32 and this is your friend Dr. Suresh and we here. Today I am back with another case discussion and uh, this is very commonly seen in your clinical practice. This case again highlights the importance of the radiograph and uh, it helps you to diagnose such cases better because majority of time here patient education is very important and uh, if you are a practitioner, this case will also tell you that why you have to always believe in different type of investigations before telling the patient the treatment plan. Now look at this case and I am sure majority of, you, majority of you will find that it is a very simple straightforward case that it is an impacted third molar and uh, generally impacted third molar majority of the patients do not have any signs and symptoms. Uh, unfortunately, that is what causes a lot of problem in long term to the patient itself and we will discuss it why. So, in general patient will come to you in one scenario that it is, it is subjected to pericoronitis. So, you have the inflammation in the surrounding gingiva of this impacted third molar and that causes sometimes severe pain and the reduction of the mouth opening. So, if you have reduction of mouth opening and uh, during that time it is generally seen with the third molar because the history is really different and uh, they say that everything was normal and I slight had some pain for few days and then my mouth opening is reduced. So, such type of patients you should suspect that in uh, it may be an impacted third molar. So, you do a clinical examination and in such situations you may tell the patient. So, for example, if looking at this image you can tell the patient that okay, you have a impacted third molar and uh, because you have symptom I will give you some medicine. So, you might put them on antibiotic, you may put them on the mouthwash, poidine iodine and uh, discuss with them saying that okay, the, you know the symptoms will definitely improve and it will improve uh, if it is because of the pericoronitis. But the right thing here is that if you have mouth opening and uh, if you have an RVG then it becomes important that you try to take an x-ray in such scenario. That is very important. If the mouth opening is not possible, then you can also advise OPG. But the RVG becomes really helpful because one important thing which all of you should remember that you take bigger and bigger x-rays, the resolution of the image goes on reducing. So, if you want to diagnose a small caries, it is always better to have a smaller x-ray, for example, IOPA or uh, your RVG rather than telling the patient that you should go for an uh, OPG. So, uh, OPG has its advantages because you can cover a lot of uh, area and uh, if you want to plan a disimpaction and if the RVG sensor cannot cover the tooth, then yes, the OPG does help because it gives you a bigger picture. But if you do not advise any of these, especially if you do not take the x-ray and you simply send the patient saying that you your symptoms will disappear, that will not be a right treatment plan for the patient. Now, I will tell you why because such situations the issue is not only affecting the third molar, there is very high chances that the damage to the lower 7 is already done to a great extent. So, you have an impacted 8 and when you see it clinically, you might feel that 7 looks absolutely normal and I am sure many of you have felt the same that 7 is not affected. But if you had taken an x-ray, in that situation, you can see that there is a decay associated with the 7 and this happens very commonly and that is why you should always educate the patient 
whenever they come for the routine checkup that why this impacted tooth can create problem to you so the problem here is that this impacted third molar creates a space here which is difficult to clean by the patient and there is a bone inflammation and since it is difficult to clean there will be a decay which is happening in this area it happens in this area so once the decay happens here patients generally do not have a lot of pain they don't realize whether the pain is because of the seven or whether it is because of eight but the problem is that this decay will keep on continuing and when that reaches the deeper area and when it reaches the pulp that is the time where you will end up having the rct and patient will have severe pain so always take an x-ray in such situation and you may may be able to diagnose the decay in the seven better if you have an x-ray now what is the right treatment for such situation one thing is very clear that we have to extract the impacted third molar now the question is should i extract the eight and then treat the seven or first treat the seven and then extract the third molar now here you may have difficulty in deciding the right treatment plan but i will tell you what is the right treatment plan as per textbook is that you want to get the third molar extracted before even restoring the seven or or doing the root canal treatment here because once you remove the third molar you will be able to better remove the decay which is there on the proximal surface because you have better access okay if you don't extract the third molar you will have difficulty in treating that tooth and you may end up leaving some amount of decay there so the so accessibility is reduced your treatment uh, quality is reduced and isolation becomes difficult right now there are situations where some patients when this decay has reached the pulp they come with severe pain and telling them that you have to get eight extracted and then we we'll do the seven that becomes difficult so if patients have very severe pain what you can do is you can do an access opening okay in that situation the patient pain is reduced and then extract the eight and then continue with the treatment with seven there are situations where if the decay you feel is completely removed you can finish the rct of 7 that is you can do obturation but before doing the core build up you extract the third molar then make sure that since your accessibility has increased you make sure that decay is removed completely from 7 and then you do a core build up and give crown so before giving a crown if you have an impacted teeth and if it is affecting your crown placement and for long term treatment benefit the impacted third molar should always be removed now one thing i would like to tell you here is that in cervical areas there is something called as burnout which happens in in in, in your x ray so maybe there is 20 30% chance or maybe a 10 20% chance that decay may be sometimes absent and if you have a very small lesion radiolucent lesion then you should be careful also to check this clinically whether this was a cervical burnout and that can be better diagnosed even after extracting the third molar so that is what is about the today's case discussion if you have any questions on this topic please mention in the comment section i know you want me to make more videos on such type of cases i will definitely do it and uh, if you like this channel don't forget to subscribe and uh, share it with your friends bye for now